5-0 to Aberdeen it finished last time. These teams met at Pataudry, but this time Kilmarnock were 1-0 up within 15 minutes. Paul Heffernan with the goal. Question marks over the goalkeeping from Jason Brown and defending from Yal Moweni. Dean Shields with the assist, Heffernan with his fifth goal of the season. And Kilmarnock looked like they were enjoying the wide open spaces of the Aberdeen midfield. Gary Hay with a pass and Dean Shields with a finish. Just under half an hour played and Kenny Shields Kilmarnock 2-0 in front. And the afternoon already looking decidedly bleak for goal shy Aberdeen. It would get worse before it got better. A cheeky dink from new signing Rory Fallon, but a great tackle from Gary Harkins averted the danger. Fallon's booking for diving, though, was probably a touch on the harsh side. Just before half time, a glimmer of hope for Aberdeen. Kilmarnock keeper Cammy Bell punched at the ball, but it fell to Andrew Considine, who provided the perfect finish. Not quite enough to cheer Craig Brown up but enough to give the Dons some hope going in at the break and crucially get the home fans behind the team. Aberdeen then took a leaf out of the Stoke City book. The long throw and Yelma Weney nodded the ball into the Kilmarnock net to make it 2 all. eight minutes into the second half. Shoddy Kilmarnock defending and the French defender didn't even have to jump to head the ball home. And suddenly Aberdeen looked like they would win this match. Rory Fallon with the header off the bar. Kilmarnock now looking for that full-time whistle. Tend up with Aberdeen dominated in terms of chances and possession. Chris Clark with a shot wide. But 2-all is how it finished. <laughs> 